two of the founders of a company called Lifeline Therapeutics that is now known as Life Vantage came to my office and their idea was um, can we put together a laundry list of antioxidant kinds of compounds that could upregulate this entire family of enzymes? And the answer was uh, yes, or at least maybe. Uh, what I was presented with was a, a list of 41 potential ingredients for a product they wanted to call Protandum. And I went through the list and penciled out rapidly about uh, 36 of those ingredients because they were either not of interest or, or not likely to be effective. What I was left with was five botanicals. And the reason these were chosen is they had all had published science behind them showing that they might be able to induce at least SOD and catalase. And we put them together, we tested it in mice, and indeed it did work. The synergy of protandum caught us all by surprise. It was far more than we hoped for. You might say, why'd you put five ingredients in protandum? Why not just pick the best one? Our bodies don't let those ingredients in. Our guts keep out most of those ingredients. So you can get low concentrations of each of the five, but not high concentrations. No matter how much you take, you're limited to a low circulating amount. What this slide shows is if you look at the individual contributions of those five ingredients, control is nothing. Ashwagandha is the first ingredient, essentially nothing by itself. Bacopa, nothing. Green tea, that's actually negative a little bit by itself. Silymarin, okay, something there. And curcumin, also negative. You put those all together and you get the red bar on the right. That's what synergy is. A lot of people may look at the they may look at the label, they may say, well, I've heard of several of these things and I've been taking curcumin for the last three years. Why do I need to take protandum, which may be more expensive than my bottle of curcumin? This is the reason. You can't do it with curcumin alone. You can't do it with any two of those. All five of those contribute to this powerful synergy in this particular endpoint 18 times more than we expected to see by the sum of these individual low concentrations of the ingredients. Better than the sum of the parts. So that second paper showed that the five ingredients produce this huge synergy, that each ingredient acts at a low and pharmacologically attainable dose. Sometimes there are papers published showing that in a Petri dish, curcumin can do this great thing. Well, your body is not a Petri dish. For your body to use curcumin, you have to take the curcumin capsule and it would have to be absorbed and transported through your body. That's what's limited. It doesn't happen. A little bit of curcumin gets in, not much. Protandum works because the five ingredients, it's okay if they're at low concentrations. In fact, it's better that they're at low concentrations because some of them have toxic effects at high concentration. Five things at low concentration, working together, amplifying the NERF2 activation is what does the trick. And specific ratios are important. So there's synergy, there's low dose effectiveness, and there's a specific ratio of these five ingredients. This paper also showed that glutathione is dramatically increased nearly fourfold by treating cells with protandum. And it's not because protandum contains the precursors you need to make glutathione, it doesn't. How's it working? It's causing the enzymes that make glutathione to be produced. We published this uh, in 2006. Many of you have seen this. This is a measure of oxidative stress in our human clinical trial where we tested these five ingredients in humans to see if indeed it could lower oxidative stress. Many of the participants in this trial were taking conventional direct antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C, the blue dots. And as you can see, those direct antioxidants were not decreasing oxidative stress with age. In fact, if you draw a line just through those dots, you see that, that in fact oxidative stress was higher in the people taking direct antioxidants, vitamin E, vitamin C. 
What happened to these same people when they took the five ingredients in Protandum, they took the commercial product, Protandum, for 30 days, and these are the, the results from those same people. So the 80-year-old on the extreme right, uh, you can see had a high level of about three before Protandum, reduced to one after Protandum. We now know Protandum does more than just deal with oxidative stress to remedy that situation. It involves not just superoxide dismutase and catalase, the first two enzymes we focused on. We now know that Protandum modulates more than 600 genes. In fact, at higher doses, not used in humans, as many as 4,000 genes can be affected out of a total of 25,000 genes that we have. This is not a minor little tweak. This is a major readjustment of everything that makes you who you are and what you are. And that uh, uniqueness to the protandum composition has resulted in the issuance of U.S. patent. The composition is protected. It can't be knocked off. And it does some really remarkable things. In this 40-year period, more than 60,000 scientific papers have been published. Again, to give you an idea of the magnitudes, probably more than half a million pages of published uh, studies showing the various roles of superoxide uh, in more than 100 human diseases, some say 200. And you can see that Protandum entered this picture in the year 2005, um, 2004, which is really the end of, of this. That's why I referred to it in the beginning as the icing on the cake. This is where the, the field is. This is the culmination of molecular biology that tells us how this thing works. And these are universities uh, and listed here in the top where I have colleagues who have said, send me some protanum. What a remarkable tool for me to use in studying uh, oxidative stress and continuing this 40, 40 years of, of progress. And the list of diseases at the bottom uh, being studied as diseases of oxidative uh, stress is an amazing spectrum. The term is nutrigenomics. It's how dietary components, things we ingest, interact with the genome, that is the DNA that encodes all 25,000 of your genes to regulate gene expression. Those genes are the blueprints for everything that you are. What is protandum? And the definition actually has changed a bit in the last five years. In the beginning, what we thought protandum would be was an antioxidant supplement, not a conventional one, but a a different way of doing it. And that's no longer an adequate description. Protandum is a NERF2 activator in the nutrigenomics arena. NERF2 is one of the key proteins in your body, in every cell in your body, that has the, the function of regulating your genome. So it's about 500 genes, some of which are turned up, some of which are turned down. And NERF2 helps your body balance the expression, the regulation of all those 25,000 blueprints.